Um, so I want to read from the book of Colossians 3 and 10. Um, 3, 10 to 11. And this verse um, to me, and I say this to me, is because it, it, it means a lot to me. It was one of those verses that I stumbled on um, a long time ago. And it, um, it's just such a powerful verse to me, such, such powerful words from our Creator. Put on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your Creator and become like Him. In this new life, it doesn't matter if you are Jew or Gentile, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbaric, uncivilized, slave or free. Christ is all that matters and He lives in all of us. And today, I'm just grateful for, I'm grateful for, for my family. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for this this room, all the friends and family that I've met in the end. Just grateful for for everything that God has has done in my life since I gave my life to Christ. Um, this particular verse it it just means so much to me because you know it was <laughs> I I I got baptized as a as a grown man, you know. And after I, I can never care. Everyone here should remember. Because I mean, for the most part, everyone here should remember because I got baptized while I was um, a part of this room, you know. And I'll never forget what my uh, what my pastor in Freeport had told me before I got baptized. You know, he said that um, you know, the person that you when you go underneath this water, when you get back up, you got to be a new person. And at that moment in time, um, you know, because as an adult, you, you, you tend to use rationality a lot, you know, and, and when you're dealing with God, rational sometimes has to get put out the window, you know, because God does, God supersedes, like Queen B says, in your life, and he does things that you don't think that could ever be possible, you know, and when I went underneath that water, when I came out, I can't explain the feeling. I can't, it's, it's an indescribable feeling, but I knew then and there that I was a new person. I felt new, I felt renewed. And it was just that, that overwhelming feeling that knowing that Christ gave me another chance, you know, because I honestly thought that I was finished. You know, but I wasn't finished. God had just started with me. That was just the beginning, you know. And as things had, as things progress and as things get better, you know, it isn't that I don't face any challenges anymore, you know. Believe it or not, the challenges that I face today, way bigger than the challenges that I faced in the past. But the difference is, is that this new person ain't worried about it. See, before, I used to be so worried about it, and I used to stress, and I used to panic, and, you know, I would do crazy things in situations, you know? But now, now that I've been renewed, now that I know that Christ lives in me, like, no matter how big the situation it is, I do one thing about it. Just one thing. I give it to God. That's yours. That one there, that's yours. That headache, that's yours. And just me knowing me, just me knowing, because I accepted him, that he's fighting for me. Because I know that he lives within me and that he is not going to allow me to fail, that he's not going to allow me to suffer. And even if I feel if it's that I am suffering, that it's only temporary, because I know that he's going to renew me, it gives me an extra sense of peace in my life and a calmness. And it's just that realization that I now have this oneness with God. Because like the verse says, Christ is all that matters, and he lives in all of us. And to be honest with y'all, that's all it is to me. Christ is all that matters. That's all that matters to me. My relationship with the Creator, that comes first. That partnership that I spoke about yesterday, that's the most important thing to me. You know, at the end of the day, it's my God, it's my family, then it's my friends. But at the end, but inside me, inherently, my relationship with God is what 
what powers all of that, what powers that feeling, is that love, is that energy, is that is that commitment now that since I became a new person that makes me want to do better, that makes me want to help people, that makes me want to strive, that makes me want to cover people in prayer, you know? And I honestly believe it's it's now because I chose to allow Christ to live in me. So thank you all for, for, for being with me along this journey. Thank you all for just continually being the good people that you are. I love each and every one of you. I'm Carrie and I relinquish my mic.